All right, hello everybody, it's Brian, and today uh, we are going to mix up some powder developer. Uh, it's really simple, I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, here's what the stuff you're going to need. First of all, obviously, you need a box of powder developer. In this case, we're using uh, Ilford Microfin. Uh, you will need a graduated cylinder, a thermometer, a funnel, uh, a pair of scissors, Something to stir the chemicals with. This is just a half a chopsticks or a chopstick, I suppose. Uh, and a beaker. This beaker is a flower vase that I found on sale the other day. Um, so it ought to work. It doesn't have one of those lips uh, to pour off the liquid, but you know, that's why we got the funnel. Um, okay, and you'll also need a place to put your stock solution. We're going to be making one liter of stock solution of microfin. Uh, these storage bottles can be found at places which sell photographic supply stuff. Um, not many of those are left anymore. The one that I'm familiar with is Freestyle Photo in California. Um, if you know of a place in your part of the world uh, that sells this stuff, please drop a comment um, and let everybody know. Okay, uh, so first things first, let's do this. Way. Okay, so first things first, we're going to open up our box of powder developer. And the great thing about Ilford Powder Developer is the instructions are on the box. So, open that up here. It's going to contain two envelopes, which are conveniently labeled Part A and Part B. Could not be simpler. And now we've got our box. Open up that. Open up. Here and here. Oops. I got it. There. All right. Fine. So here's the instructions. There's the instructions right there. All right. You see it? Yeah. Good. You see that? Okay. So first step, we need to fill our beaker with. Uh, 750 milliliters of water at a temperature of 40 degrees Celsius or higher. Uh, 40 degrees is the minimum and obviously that's to dissolve the, uh, the powder. Uh, so, you, the water coming out of my uh, tap is hot enough, at least today it is, so uh, if it's not hot enough then you need to, you might want to boil some water and mix it in. I wouldn't put boiled water straight into a, um, that's probably overdoing it. But uh, you might want to mix some boiling water with some regular tap water if, you're, you know, if your hot water is not working or if your hot water is not very hot. Uh, mine is hot enough, at least it is today. I just measured it. So um, I'm going to measure in the graduated cylinder first 500 milliliters of hot water, put it in here, then 250 milliliters of hot water, and put it in the cylinder. So let's go. All right. Now I've got my thermometer. I'm going to double check my water real quick. And the needle's going up, 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 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And there we go. Okay, we're at 110 Fahrenheit. That's plenty. Okay. Pour a little bit, so I'm gonna pour off a little bit. There we go. So now I've got 500 milliliters of water, and the water temperature is so everybody can see. Water to no, you can't see that. I don't want to see that. Let's see here, can you see? No, it's, well, I doubt that's in focus. I don't want to spill the water. Um, anyway, this is just over 110 Fahrenheit which is plenty hot for, for our purposes. So, take my hot water, pour it into the beaker. Now I need another 250 milliliters. Okay. And that is, wait for that to settle out. 
not quite enough. And this is, that's a little too much. We'll pour it off. And as soon as that stops wiggling around, and that is close enough for government work. All right, 250. Now, I have 750 milliliters of hot water in here. So what do I do next? Well, let's check our directions. According to the directions, next thing we do is we take packet A, packet of chemicals A, and I dissolve it in the hot water. So here's part A, clearly marked. Um, I'm gonna make sure all the chemicals are at the bottom there. I'm just shaking it, tapping it like that. So when I cut it open, I don't have stuff falling out. Uh, I'm gonna cut it open just below the line, like so. All right, and this should work on it. Okay. It's stuck a little bit. Cut it a little more. All right, very good. Okay. Now we got part A of the envelope open, so I need to pour the entire contents of this into here. So I'm going to do that rather carefully. Okay, all right. All right, we're all in. Okay, packet A is in. Now I take my chopstick. Is dissolved. Okay. Uh, while you're stirring, it's kind of hard to see if the solution is at, well, if the entire packet is completely dissolved into solution. You kind of have to stir it up, give it a good vigorous stir, then hold off. And I don't know how well you can see that on, on the video, but you sort of see the, I mean, I can see a little cyclone-like action going on in the middle of the, uh, of the beaker. I'm not sure if that's air bubbles or undissolved crystals. But what's going to happen is the undissolved crystals will uh, settle out at the bottom. And there's always going to be a few. So if it's a little bit of undissolved material, it's no big deal. Um, but if it's a lot, you should, I mean, you should just keep stirring. Just keep stirring until, it, um, until it's pretty well dissolved. And, okay, so I can look down straight into the solution and I can see that there's a tiny, tiny little bit of undissolved crystals in the bottom. But... Again, uh, the vast majority is in solution. I'm just not going to spend too much time worrying about the stuff that's left. Um, it's really... Again, close enough. Now, so we've got packet A dissolved in 750 milliliters of hot water. What's next? All right, well, we take packet B, and now we dissolve packet B into the water. Again, give, it a, give it a good tap, make sure all the powder's down at the bottom. Cut the top off. There we go. Okay. And in we go with packet B. This stuff takes a little while, takes, I mean, don't, don't get frustrated that it doesn't dissolve immediately. Um, it, is, you, it takes a little bit of stirring and, and it takes a minute to, to all get into solution, which is why it's very important to make sure your, your water is at least 40 degrees Fahrenheit, excuse me, Celsius, 40 degrees Celsius, or I think it's, uh, I think Fahrenheit is 104, what is it, it's, uh, yeah, 40 degrees Celsius or 104 Fahrenheit. 
Um, but I always make sure that my water is a little bit warmer than that, again, because you, you want all this stuff to dissolve. Um, and the resulting solution is not going to be completely clear. So again, while you're stirring, it's kind of hard to know whether you've got it all in solution or not. And basically what you have to do is just let it settle out um, and then take a look and see if there's, you know, how much powder or how much um, material is undissolved at the bottom of the beaker. And if it's just a trace amount, then, then that's fine and you're done. Um, I've never mixed developer where absolutely every single little crystal got dissolved. There's always a little bit of a trace amount of, uh, um, of material down at the bottom of the beaker that you just have to decant off. That is, um, when you're pouring it down the funnel, just as you get to the last little bit, be careful, be mindful of that little, it's like sand down at the bottom there, the undissolved chemicals, and um, hold back on the last couple milliliters. Um, you know, if, if you hold back on a couple cc's of liquid in order to avoid putting that, that powder in your, in your stock solution, that's okay. Um, it's not, it's not going to make a big difference. All right. Uh, that's still rather opaque. Can't really see through it. So I'm going to let it, I'm just going to let, uh, let it settle out for another minute. And what I'm waiting for is I want this solution to clear up enough so that I can see through there to tell whether or not there's any undissolved um, powder down at the bottom. And it's just, it's, it's too opaque right now. Um, let's see here. Any other words of wisdom I can impart while we're waiting? No, not really. Um, although the great thing about black and white chemistry is um, if you're off by just a little bit, it's no big deal. Um, your temperature, you, you need to make sure your temperature is at least 40 degrees. Don't, don't slack on that. Um, don't use cooler temperature because th that will affect the ability of the water to absorb uh, the, uh, the uh, powder into solution. That's important. Um, but again, like I said, when you're, when you're pouring off the solution, if you need to uh, hold back on the last few cc's in order to avoid putting the, uh, the residue into your so stock solution, that's fine. That's not a problem. Um, da -da 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 -da. Um, all right, still a little cloudy, so let's, so here's what you can do, just tap, tap the bottom, and you can feel it crunch, okay, so as, as I'm tapping right there, I can feel a little crunch, which tells me that there's some undissolved powder down at the bottom, probably not a whole lot, but there is some, so I'm going to go ahead and stir it up again. Um, and some developers, actually, the, the resulting stock solution is fairly clear. Uh, microfin happens to be a little milky, or at least it is today. I haven't, I haven't used microfin a whole lot lately because I live in a place with lots of sunshine, and microfin is used for pushing film or developing film for high contrast. And in sunny climates, I tend to use more perceptol and rodenol, which is better for uh, pull processing or low contrast developing. Um, if you want to push, Microfin is your developer. It is specifically designed for pushing. Let's see here. All right. Okay. Um, I'm going to say that's close enough for government work. What is our next step? Our next step is to add um, enough water to bring the solution up to one liter and then just mix, okay? So I'm not going to do that in this beaker because, well, why would I? Um, that doesn't make any sense. What I am going to do is I'm going to uh, pour off this liquid into my storage bottle um, and then I'll add 250 milliliters of ordinary tap water at room temperature or whatever temperature happens to be coming out of the tap, it really doesn't matter. Um, I'll add 250 milliliters of water to this to bring it up to one full liter, okay? So I'm sim simply going to 
take my funnel like so ah, poop you can't see that can you alrighty well let's see if we can do something about that there we go there we go alright spare no expense on the production values in my videos but you all know that okay um, so here's my 750 milliliters of hot water and here is my let's check that okay good all right so I'm gonna pour this off as I get to the end here I want to keep an eye on the bottom of the flask beaker rather all right and there there that's enough um, at the bottom of this um, of this beaker you probably can't see it on the video but there is some residue so a little bit of powder residue down there um, and I, you don't want that in contact with your film so uh, so you want to pour that off if at all possible I have no idea what kind of focus you're seeing um, whatever Right, you, you get the idea. So now I have 750 milliliters of uh, stock solution. Well, actually, no, it's not stock solution yet. No, it's too concentrated. 750 milliliters um, of solution in here. In order to bring it, in order to make it stock solution, that it has to be at the correct um, concentration. So I need 250 milliliters of water. Again, any temperature doesn't matter. It's a little much. Let's pour some off. And that's good enough. All right. Okay. And voila. We're done. And there you have it. I now have one liter of stock solution of powder developer, in this case microfin. And that is it folks, that's all there is to it. That, that's, that's it. Um, if you can make coffee, you can make powder developer. It's really not that complicated. Okay, that's today's episode. I hope you learned something, hope this was helpful. Um, if you have any helpful hints or tips or opinions or questions, leave a note, uh, comment, whatever. Take care, bye-bye.